I'm here at BGGCon 2014 with Don from Nightworks. Hello. Hi. Uh, and he's going to talk to us about his game Dark Horse. Right. Well, this was kickstarted back in the early days, so I'm an early adopter on Kickstarter. So, and in Dark Horse, uh, you're basically playing, it's a dice hero. So you have this concept uh, very similar to Kingsburg or Alien Frontiers where you have these dice, so if you roll something like a six and a four, you can take the 10, or you can take the six and the four, and you're just basically taking turns, taking actions. So you have this action space track on the side that allows you to take whatever type of action you want in the game. So you can gain influence points, you can build your cities and your towns and your rails, and then the resource hexes are all face down, they're hidden, so you have a little bit of an exploration type of aspect to the game. You start out very small, you have, just have one city and two towns and a couple of rails, and uh, you grow throughout the game. So you have that city building network type of feel. And it's all in an Old West, Wild West type of thing. Excellent. How, how many players is the game for? It's for one to four. There's a solitary version for it. There's a two player variant. So that's something that players can kind of expand on. The expansion offers a, a five player, a yellow set. So there is a way to get to five players. And about how long does it take to play? It's about 30 to 90 minutes, depending on players. So if you have a two-player game, it's only about 30 minutes. Of course, you have to know the game. You have to have a learning game that yep. rolled in there, but that's about it. How hard would you say the game is to learn? Would you say it's a light game, a medium game, um, in terms of difficulty of picking up and uh, uh, figuring out the strategy behind it? Yeah, it's a uh, what's called a post-gateway. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite as easy as a gateway game like Ticket to Ride or Settlers of Catan. It's more of a post gateway. So once you understand modern Euro games, you can actually get into something like this. But at the end of the day, you're rolling two dice, sometimes three dice, and you're taking an action. So it's very easy to get into. Excellent. Uh, thanks very much. Well, thank you.